We're excited today to introduce to you our new system. This new system is called the PDL Pro Sequencer. And this system is designed for both the professionals and the consumers who want to put a uh, controlled sequence into their firing program. This system has uh, a lot of little extras, and I'd like to show that to you right now. The first big one is the system is manufactured right here in the United States. The key is here. It's got an on-off button also. This, is, this indicator right here is the test and firing to turn the receiver on. And what makes this an interesting sequencer is normally, at least a lot of sequencers, you have to have a second firing system in the uh, loop in order to initiate the sequence. This one right here, you can still use it like that if you have another firing system. You can go ahead and hook it up. But this also has an independent receiver in there that will take a signal from one of your transmitters, transmitters sold with it. Uh, it's got two batteries. It's got a 6-volt battery which controls the receiver. It's got a 12-volt battery which controls the output. These can be daisy chained together to other modules. On the sides you can see the pyro clips. This, if you wanted to use your own firing system instead of the built-in receiver, these would be the input. And then if you wanted to daisy chain these together, regardless of whether you're using the input or not, say for instance you had multiple of these or our other sequencer, you can go ahead, or even our 18Q firing system, and you wanted to initiate a program, this would be the output. And of course your pyro clips. This system is truly waterproof. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate that in a couple live fire exercises. Um, but to show you exactly the, uh, the times that I have programmed in it, we went ahead and we set it up so that, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Uh, the first cue is at 0.25 seconds, second cue is uh, 0.3, third 0.6. 4.9. The fifth cue is one full second. The sixth cue is 0 0.9. It's coming back down. The seventh is 0 0.6. Eight is 0.3. Nine is 0.25. The ten is one tenth of a second, and the output is set for one second. Now, what that means is, as the firing system fires off, the, de the, the times are the delays. As soon as this thing takes its first signal, the first cue will fire. Then that first uh, cue time, that's the delay time between Q1 and Q2. So there it's 0.25 seconds. As it goes all the way through, when it finishes Q10, you can see the, uh, the time output there at one full second. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a couple dry fires and then we'll take it outside and uh, I'll dump it in some water and we'll fire off some e-matches. Okay, I went ahead and I programmed this system into those uh, queue times that I showed you on the white erase board. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this system ready to fire. Now this is the transmitter. It's got an on and off. You can make sure it's on. You can make sure that the selector of the uh, channel is all the way in channel 1 or whatever channel you decided to program it to. The programming of a transmitter to the system is identical to our other power to light systems. You can extend the, um, the antenna and make sure it's good. On the system, make sure the antenna is hooked up here if you're hooking it up to a firing, if, if you're going to use the receiver and transmitter supplied. Um, all you're going to do now and you're ready to fire is you're going to power the system on using the key and the power switch. Immediately you're going to start seeing the E codes and that will indicate which E matches are bad. Right now we have nothing hooked in, so it's indicating nothing hooked in as being bad. When you're ready to fire, the last thing you're going to do is flip on the receiver. The red light comes on, you're now good to go. I programmed this system to button 1, we're going to fire it off. You can see it going through its, uh, its time. Now something I want to point out to you, because a sequencer is out in the field far away from everyone you're not going to be able to see these LED lights light up so what we've done is we've put a power saving circuit into here so after about a minute or a minute and a half of non-use it's going to shut off the screen and it's going to basically disconnect the LEDs from the system now it still fires off it's just there's no need to have all those lights running when 
the system is down and locked because you're not going to be able to see it. That's why we've done that and that'll help extend the life of this battery. So you can kind of set it up ahead of time, you know, 20, 30 minutes or so before the show. Make sure the red light's on. You can even run it through a test. But basically, you can see right now the LCD screen went off. That's the indicator that the, it's in sleep mode. It will still fire off and you'll see the, um, the, the uh, receiving signal light come on. See? You can see the signal light came on and you saw a little flash. It's running through its sequence right now. You just can't see it. And I'll, I'll get out a little voltmeter and we'll, we'll show you. Okay, I wanted to show you exactly what it meant by sleep mode. So I hooked up the voltmeter to it. It's currently hooked up to Q5. After about a second or so, um, based on the time, when Q5 is supposed to fire, you won't see the LED, but the volts will kick off. And I'll show that to you in a few seconds. Three, two, one, fired right there so it did fire off now we're gonna go ahead hook up some e-matches to this take it out in the front dump some water on it and you'll see this thing fire off okay so we're outside I have uh, 11 e-matches hooked up one e-match to every single cube plus one hooked out of the output we're gonna turn the system on we should see pass if all the matches are good we do I'm arming the system red light came on we're hot I'm gonna make it waterproof I'm submerging it. I'm going to go get my igniter. Be right back. Okay. Firing in three, two, one. Oh, actually, I should move this back, otherwise, you won't see the igniters. Three, two, one, firing. All the igniters fired in a completely submerged sequencer. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're back downstairs after we did that submersion test. Uh, some quick care. This system is meant to be, uh, you know, used outside in normal operating conditions. You know, we can't count on weather always being on our side as pyros out there in the field. So, should you be submerged, you know, in a heavy, heavy rainfall, and these boxes are out there. Basically, all you really want to do is, you know, dry the uh, the case off with a dry rag, and then just leave it open a little bit, you know, just in case some moisture may have got in there, some humidity. Leave the case open for a couple days or whatever until whatever vapor was in there evaporates. Um, want to make sure that your chargers uh, are hooked up and your battery is fully charged. These batteries don't like to be left without any voltage. Um, you know, should that happen, all we'd have to do is exchange your battery, but these should last you a few years anyway for the battery if you take good care of them. Um, other than that, uh, the system should be available for sale uh, either uh, late January or early February, and uh, really it's a great system for, uh, for anybody. So thank you very much for watching.